Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing a short vlog on what it's like coming down to a youth sports training day. These days are really important for us here at youth sports because we need to make sure our coaches are always working at the standards we expect. Great for teamwork, building those connections because quite often it's quite a remote sort of business. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. So the first thing that we did is Coach Uzziah ran a arrival activity. So as all the coaches were arriving, he was showing them some different games that you could do um, with the kids um, and then went into a more of a theory side. He worked with uh, Coach Ben. Ben, arrival so activity. Our arrival activity that we thought of was rugby. So we're doing like tag bulldog um, and everyone will start with two tags apart from the catcher in the middle and the aim is to obviously take the tags off of them. Nice. And how easy is it to add new arrivals into that game? Quite easy. As long as you have the belts and the tags already set out, yeah, you can pretty much say, out. oh, hello, welcome to our camp. You're going to join in with our pre-arrival activity. Here's your tag belt. Stick it on. All right. And then last but not least, guys, I just want to touch on um, like small-sided games. Get some bibs ready as well. You can do three, three versus three just on little pitches. Feel free to play matches as well. So after that bit, we went into a policies and procedure workshop with Coach Kat, which sounds like it'd be really boring, but you'll be able to see from this, lots of energy, lots of fun. And if you want people to learn, they need to be having fun at the same time. And Kat absolutely uh, nailed this one. Lots of education, but also lots of fun at the same time. Ready? What would you do if you had to say we're going to turn about the Reno? Reno! 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 Talk to the parents, take the EpiPen, and put on your phone. No, beep, 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 Yellow and red cards, not specific to football, okay? Our behaviour policy is the yellow and red card system. Pre what do you do um, if you don't know what to do with a behaviour issue and you are a... Yes. Yeah, you speak to the uh, site manager and they can then contact the parents if needed for the Yep, yeah, fantastic. Good job. Yes, Tom. Yes. There you go. Good job. So hopefully you can see how much fun all our coaches are having down at our training. But it's really important that there's this engaging, practical aspect to it as well. Um, so obviously Uzziah starting with his, his arrival activity, very practical, demonstrating how you can um, make uh, children feel feel welcome when they arrive into a session when they're late or, or when they're um, when other children are already there. But then Kat's doing a policy um, procedure, policies and procedures workshop, which sounds like it'd be so boring. But by adding in a couple of uh, funny things that to make their own buzzer noise and that's just got them like cracking up you can see from the video hopefully how much fun they were having which is great but there's but at the same time they're learning so much because we're 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 becoming we're offset registered we're expecting more offset visits over summer um so it's important our coaches know what to say to an inspector should they ask and um that's sort of what that workshop's about now um i think it won't be long until rob will take the lead and you can sort of see what's going on here behind me, you can sort of see we've got quite a few different um, bibs and cones and stuff all over the floor. I'm sure it all makes sense once Rob gets going with it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see see what Rob does. Oh, we're having oh right, we're having a chat. Yeah. Aren't we? yeah. So on this bit, I'm just going to ask Rob, who's put the training together. Um, well, what is he hoping to get out of it? Um, but it's a bit windy, so you know, be careful. We don't want his hair to blow away. Um, I still is Joe. He said that before the camera turned on. <laughs> so um, so Rob, do you want to tell us like what, what's the training about? Why are we doing it? So um, the training is about holiday camp. So we're trying to get our, our staff trained, ready for the summer. Yeah. Make sure that they're ready to give a positive experience to the children that are going to come along to our camps. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe talk through some of our procedures and policies, but also make sure it's fun for the children. Give us some new game ideas. Yeah. Yeah. When it, when it comes to training a, a training event like this, we've got one hour. How how do you try and make sure we get the most out of that hour? For our coaches um i think it's just making sure that 
what we're going to show them or what we're going to talk to them about is worthwhile for them. Yeah. So is it something that actually is going to improve their delivery or improve something about their coaching or yeah, their, about yeah. a camp? That's the most important, or, like, or just one of our sessions. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. So um, so Rob's going to start his session in a minute. We'll get a few clips of that. And um, yeah, hopefully hopefully it gives you a bit of a bit of an idea as to what we're actually doing down here when our tra training days and um, the importance that we as a business put onto it. I'll explain it all. I'll explain it. Right, okay, so I'm um, going to go through some couple of different tag games that we can use, very versatile games that you can use for different sports. Got one defender in the middle, which is Thomas. Anyone got 15 yet? Have you... <laughs> so, I, yeah, you're right, Isaiah. I could jump through. I could hop through. It might make it a bit easier for the defender. And the reason, these are, you, basically, I, we've just come up with eight different versions of this game there already. And we haven't even spoke about adding equipment or anything else. If I've got 20, 30 at a holiday camp. I could have five, six goes of this. And then I, that's how I would progress it. This is my alternative instead of playing Bulldog. You'll get a lot more out of this game. Kids will be more active. They'll have more chances to defend and attack. So I like doing this instead of Bulldog. Yes, Where is right. the tail? <laughs> Good you, Zyra. Like the fact you're dribbling the ball. Good. Okay, guys. So we're all done now. Um, really good little end session from Rob. Uh, you can obviously see some of that. And we're going to do a separate video as well. It's just Rob's session. So you can go and watch exactly what he did, um, all the finer details of that session. But, um, Rob, how did you feel it went today? Um, yeah, really useful. I think um, Isai came up with some different arrival activities for us. Yeah. Um, Kat's gone through some different bits, bits and pieces that we just need. To, what do you do at camp? What do you do in certain situations? It's always just good to refresh and go over those things yeah yeah um, and then yeah just a, a, a few games to finish at the end and yeah lots of good enjoyment it's always i think it's really important to get our staff together and yeah, yeah. just for them to have a bit of fun and yeah it's fun. enjoy themselves and be social with each other because some of them don't get to see many other no coaches, when you're working so. in a school yeah. you might be you know, on your own in, in a school and you're there all week and you don't get to interact with the other youth sports coaches so um yeah it's really it's good it's a it's an important part of that, that social side of it. So, um, but yeah, thanks for watching today's video. If you, if you have enjoyed it, please do like, comment, subscribe. Got any ideas on other sort of content you might want to see? Let us know in the comments, and I uh, will see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.